When your child is walking down the street making choices, whose voice is in their head? Carrie Casey, CEO of the National Center for Fathering, author of Championship Fathering, and father of four, comments on today's father. I was talking with a friend of mine on the phone. The news and social media outlets were dominated by a horrible tragedy that rocked a community in much of the nation. My friend said, Carrie, you're on the right message. If dads were doing their job, things like this wouldn't happen. I believe he's totally right, of course. We dads have the power and responsibility to shape our children's character and future. It's you, Dad, who shows them how to carry themselves and stand up for what's right. It's you, Dad, who coaches them about where they should and shouldn't be. It's you, Dad, who models what character looks like. I believe God set it up that way. Children need that direction and leadership, a father or father figure who will speak truth into them and to be the voice of authority in their heads as they deal with difficult situations and make decisions about how to act. The voice saying, here is how to act in this situation, or no, that's not how we roll. I was blessed that my pop put plenty of his voice into my head, and it wasn't always his voice. Sometimes all it took was a look from him. We'd see something going down, and he'd give us that look that says, no, we don't need to respond the way those people are responding. Clearly, too many kids don't have that voice or aren't prepared to understand it, or the voice isn't as loud as others leading them down a different path. The result is a crisis rooted in fatherlessness. When children grow up without the benefit of a father, they're vulnerable. They don't have the right voices in their heads and aren't prepared to handle adversity. And they make destructive choices. One reason I'm talking about this is to affirm you, Dad, and encourage you to keep up the good work with your kids. If you're a committed dad, you're quite literally strengthening our communities and our country. Please keep being that voice of reason for your kids and keep using that look with them like my my pop did. Your guidance will come to mind at critical turning points in their life. Also, remember that other kids out there need dads like you who are willing to speak into their lives. That makes a huge difference too. This is Carrie Casey for Today's Father. Today's Father is brought to you by the dads at fathers.com. If you go to fathers.com right now, you can download our free ebook for dads, The Five Things Every Kid Must Get From Dad. We're certain it'll help you. Again, that's fathers.com or call 800-593-DADS. Thanks for listening, Dad, and keep up the good work.